the limit of function at c versus the value of the function at c. Number 1. The limit of 3x plus 4 as x approaches to 4. The first step we will do is the table of values to determine if the function of x is equal. We will start from the left. For x, we have 3, 3.5, 3.9, and 3.99. To get the f of x, we need to substitute the values of x in our equation. f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. It will become 3, f of 3 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 4. Evaluate and then we get 13. We will do the same thing with 3.5, substitute the values of x. f of 3.5 is equal to 3 times 3.5 plus 4. 3 times 3.5 equals 10.5, then plus 4 equals 14.5. Again, substitute the values of x. f of 3.9 is equal to 3 times 3.9 plus 4. 3 times 3.9 equals 11 plus 4. f of 3.9 is equal to 15.7. For the last time, substitute the values of x. f of 3.99 is equal to 3 times 3.99 plus 4 is equal to 11.79 plus 4. f of 3.99 is equal to 15.97. We will round off, then we get 16. Therefore, the limit of 3x plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the left is equal to 16. Now, the table of values of x from the right, we have 5, 4.9, 4.5, and 4.01. We will substitute the values of x again f of 5 is equal to 3 times 5 plus 4, 3 times 5 is equal to 15, plus 4 is equal to 19. When we substitute all the values of x, we will get 18.7, 17.5, and 16.03. Therefore, the limit of 3x plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the right is equal to 16. Therefore, we can conclude that the limit of 3x plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the right is equal to the limit of 3x plus 4 as x approaches to 4 from the left. Number 2. Limit of 2x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 4 as x approaches to negative 2. First, we're going to substitute the value of x, which is negative 2, to 2x minus 1, divided by 3x plus 4, is equals to 2 times negative 2 minus 1, divided by 3 times negative 2 plus 4. 2 times negative 2 is equals to negative 4. 3 times negative 2 is equals to negative 6. Negative 4 minus 1 is equal to negative 5. Negative 6 plus 4 is equal to negative 2. So the answer will be 2.5. The first step we will do is get the table of values from the left which is negative 3, negative 2.9, negative 2.5, negative 2.01 and we're going to substitute the value of x to f of x example f of negative 3 is equals to 2 times negative 3 minus 1 divide divide 3 times negative 3 plus 4 is equals to 2 times negative 3 is equals to negative 6 3 times negative 3 is equals to negative 9. Six, negative 6 minus 1 is equals to negative 7. Negative 9 plus 4 is equals to negative 5 or 1.4. And we're going to do the same thing to others which is negative 2.9 is equals to 1.44 negative 2.5 is equals to 1.7 negative 2.01 is equals to 
47. If we're going to round off 2.47, we're going to get 2.5. Now, the table value from the right, which is negative 1, negative 1.5, negative 1.9, negative 1.99. Just like what we did in the left, we're going to substitute the value of x. For example, f of negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 minus 1 divide divide 3 times negative 1 plus 4. 2 times negative 1 is equal to negative 2. 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. Negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 3. Negative 3 plus 4 is equal to 1 or negative 3. Same to the others which is negative 1.5 is equal to 8. Negative 1.9 is equal to 2.8 and negative 1. 0.99 is equals to negative 2.5. Therefore, the limit 2x minus 1 divide divide 3x plus 4 as x approaches to negative 2 from the left is equals to limit of 2x minus 1 divide divide 3x plus 4 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right is equals to 2.5 number 3 the limit of function x squared minus 4x minus 5 over x minus 5 as x approaches to positive 5 we will use of the table of values to determine our limit of function is equal we will start of the left side for our x we have 4 4.5, 4.9, and 4.99. To get the f of x, we will substitute the values of x of our equation. f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5 over x minus 5. It will become f of 4 is equal to 4 squared minus 4 times 4 minus 5 over 4 minus 5 evaluate then we get negative 5 over negative 1 or positive 5 we will substitute all the value of x then we will get 5.5 5.9 and 6 therefore the limit of x squared minus 4 x minus 5 over x minus 5 as x approaches to 5 from the left is 6 while in the right side, our x is 6, 5.9, 5.5, and 5.01. To get the f of x, we will substitute the values of x of our equation. f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5 over x minus 5. It will become f of 6 is equal to 6 squared minus 4 times 6 minus 5 over 6 minus 5 evaluate then we get 7 over 1 or 7 we will substitute all the value of x then we will get 6.9 6.5 and 6 therefore the limit of x squared minus 4 x minus 5 over x minus 5 as x approaches to 5 from the right is 6. Therefore, the limit of function x squared minus 4x minus 5 over x minus 5 as x approaches to 5 from the left and the limit of function x squared minus 4x minus 5 over x minus 5 as x approaches to 5 from the right are equal. Number 2x minus 1 if x is less than negative 2. x cubed plus 3 if x is greater than or equal than negative 2 as x approaches to negative 2.
First, we're going to get the table of values from the left and we're going to use the 2x minus 1 because our x is negative 3, negative 2.9, negative 2.5, and negative 2.01. And because our x values is less than negative 2. Substitute the value of x to, neg to 2x minus 1. For example, f negative 3 is equals to 2 times negative 3 minus 1 is equals to 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So, negative 6 minus 1 is equals to negative 7. And we're gonna do the same thing to others, which is negative 2.9 is equals to negative 6.8, negative 2.5 is equals to negative 6, and negative 2.01 is equals to negative 2, negative 5.02 or if we round off negative 5.02 is equals to negative 5 now to the right we're going to use x cubed plus 3 because the value of our x is negative 1 negative 1.5 negative 1.9 negative 1.99 and it's great and our x is greater than or equal than negative 2. And we're going to substitute our value of x to x cubed plus 3. For example, f, neg f of negative 1 is equals to negative 1 cubed plus 3 is equals to negative 1 cubed is equals to negative 1 plus 3 is equals to 2. And we're going to do the same thing to others, which is negative 1.5 is equals to negative 0 0.37, negative 1.9 is equals to negative 3.85, negative 1.99 equals to negative 4.88. If we round off negative 4.88, it is negative 5 to be sure in our answer we need to substitute the value of x which is negative 2 to 2x mi minus 1 and x cubed plus 3 f of negative 2 is equals to 2 times negative 2 minus 1 is equals to Negative 4 minus 1 is equals to negative 5. Now for x cubed plus 3. f of negative 2 is equals to negative 2 times cube plus 3 is equals to negative 8 plus 3 is equals to negative 5. Therefore, the limit of 2x minus 1 as x approaches to negative 2 from the left is equals to limit of x cubed plus 3 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right is equals to negative 5.